Deep in the Tyranid infestation, the Dark Angels have been detailed to conduct vital reconnaissance in no man's land. But enemy Tyranid patrols are also operating in this area. Additional Dark Angel forces are near at hand, but the enemy have their own reserves. Steve and I will be playing the Recon Patrol Incursion Crusade mission from the Core Rulebook. Number four! In this one, the table is divided into four quarters. Two of them are our deployment zones, although they're 10 inches away from the center of the battlefield as well. There are four objectives that we went back and forth placing. These ones, you have the Take and Hold Progressive Mission Objective, which is just that you get five points for controlling one or more of these, another five points for controlling two or more, and another five points for controlling more than your opponent. And this is at the end of each player's command phase. In addition, there is an action called Recon Sweep, which one unit from your army can start to perform at the start of your movement phase, but that has to be wholly within a table quarter and more than 10 inches away from the center, and that table quarter cannot already have been Recon Sweeped. You get a bonus number of victory points according to how many table quarters you're able to sweep throughout the game, and you require at least two before you start getting points, up to a maximum of 45 points. At the end of the game, whoever has the most victory points wins, and they get to choose two units from their army to be marked for greatness and get the additional three experience instead of just one. In this mission as well, it forces you to put at least half the number of your units in strategic reserve for free, and you can't have any more than three quarters of your units in reinforcement or reserve. So it really limits what we can start on the table and how they come in. And they can come in turn one or turn two, but you have to roll on a four plus. Otherwise, they come in automatically on turn three. On this side, we have my Tyranid Incursion Force being led by my Broodlord. He's got the Friends on uh, Relic, which gives him plus one attack on the charge, or when charged, or heroic intervening, and he can reroll his charges as well. He's accompanied by a Tyranid Prime, who is currently blind, so he has reroll sixes to hit. <laughs> He's not doing too well. Don't know why we haven't just tossed him in the spawning pool and got a new one, but, you know, maybe this, this hive mind's nostalgic. And then for our troop choice, we've got Gene Steelers here with the Adaptive Physiology, or that lets them heroically intervene six inches. So watch out for that, Steve. And then we got a unit of six warriors that have become veterans, re-rolling ones to hit, which is good because they've got rending claws, which they like to use. And they've got aberrant pheromones, adaptive physiology, which gives a, a minus leadership debuff close to them. We've got a Death Leaper as well. I've been mistakenly trying to give him experience, but he's a name character, so he doesn't upgrade. So no worries about him. He's just going to show up and uh, do nothing to me. I don't know. We got a Carnifex behind him with the Accelerated Digestion Adaptive Physiology, so whenever he kills a model, he regains a wound. Up to three per phase, I believe it is. He hasn't received any upgrades yet. And then we've got a Toxicrine right here with a Dermic Symbiosis, giving him a five-up Invalm, and he gets to count as having twice as many wounds left for his wound chart. And he's been upgraded to be unstoppable, so he's got plus two to his movement and plus one to his advance and charges. A little squad of Ripper Swarms, they don't upgrade because they're swarms. And lastly, of course, the VIPs, the best unit in all the Tyranid Codex, JK. Sapirovores. And they have the advanced, the, the, that physiology of enhanced resistance, so they ignore AP minus one and minus two, which is kind of nice, makes them a little more survivable. But they're currently disgraced, um, which, you know, in the hive mind way is that they got so damaged, they got hit in the head so hard that they lost a bit of their connection to the hive mind. So I'm not allowed to use any stratagems to affect them but they still get affected by synapse and stuff, but they just, I can't use any strategy. So that's kind of my lore way of describing why that is. Although I still don't know why the Tyranids, once again, have not just recycled them. Just haven't had time, I guess. Or maybe, or maybe they did. And that negative trait somehow made it into the gene pool. And now all the pyrovores are affected. Ooh, I like that better. Sorry, Primes, you're all blind now. Like, you know, maybe one eye is better than two. And that's what the zoo down. They just all have one eye. So that is my incursion force. Now, for what will be starting on the table, I'm only going to be starting on the table with the Prime, the Tyranid Warriors, and the Toxicrine. Everything else will be in strategic reserve, except for the Death Leaper, who I'm actually putting in his own camouflage deployment, Deep Strike, basically, because the rest of them count as half my, half my number of units, so I can put one additional one in there. So. That is what will be starting on the table. Not very much. My Dark Angels are doing about the same. So every unit is upgraded at least once, and basically every sergeant has plus one damage on their weapon, and they either like plus one to hit or plus one AP, depending if it's melee or, melee or ranged. The Blade Guard veterans there, we got a six up to ignore damage still. And then my lieutenant has plus one damage on his plasma pistol, 
and my chaplain, Brachial himself, has plus one attack on the charge, and now he has bionics, so he's plus one strength, getting up to strength eight, and ignore damage enough five plus. Other than that, we're just space marines with better equipment. We have unlocked the vaults on the rock and bringing out the good weapons. We are playing in the Tyran infestation, and the affliction that we've rolled is that there are spore clouds everywhere, so the range of weapons are reduced to 18 inches, and if your weapon already was 18 inches or less, then it's reduced by three inches to a minimum of six. So it'll affect your pistols mainly, I yep. believe. All your bolter weapons and autocannon weapons are reduced to 18. I don't think, well, it doesn't affect me no matter what, but I don't think I have any long range weapons anyways. I'm mainly close combat with a little bit of short range shooting. Uh, I know it's gonna be hard to tell which three pieces of Tyranid terrain are the important ones, but it's this one, that one, and that one. Those are the ones that I need to secure or Steve needs to destroy. We've got our four objectives. All this cool Tyranid terrain, by the way, this is all from the same company. It's all MicroArt Studios. It's a really cool hard foam terrain. And then Adam from Greenleaf made these bases for it and stuck them in there. He made all the goo, which is really super cool. I love these nests. I feel like if I touch this, I'm gonna pop it and things are gonna come out. Goop. It's just gross. It's gross and I love it. And then our beautiful lava mat here, which actually goes well with it, is from Table War. And don't forget, for Silver Vault members, you can get discounts on a lot of this stuff when you go check that out on our website. So we've already rolled off and got, uh, I'm gonna be the defender. I chose this table quarter as mine. And so we're gonna get deployed now with the very few units that are allowed to start on the table. And we are deployed. I feel very underprepared <laughs> for what I'm up against. <laughs> That's okay though, it's okay. because. I just have to make sure I oh, go for my objectives. You're close to my terrain pieces. I should have chosen that corner. Now that you're deployed, I'm like, oh, you're right beside the two terrain pieces. What was I thinking? Oh well, it'll be fun. You can't destroy them when you move on to them. You have to be there already. So I can just get ready for that. I have a special rule. What's that? You have a special rule that you can that you can do actions after you move and just count as having not moved and speaking of the movement phase? Yes. Yeah. Liar! Liar! That's, not, that's actually my real special rule. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what can I get away with, right? <laughs> If I have a straight enough face, maybe they'll believe me. So we're deployed, we're gonna roll off, and technically the winner goes first. Agendas? Oh, right, of course, let's declare our agendas. Yes. For my agenda, I chose Reaper, which is whoever kills the most gets two experience points. If there's a tie, I choose one. And I chose Lord of, the, Lord of the Warp, whoever technically manifests in the most psychic powers. I say technically because if you deny the witch, or sorry, if you perils, it resets how many psychic powers you've cast. So as long as the last thing the Broodlord does is not a peril. peril, then I'm okay. What about you? Okay, uh, Space Marines, so Survivor. It's going to be the uh, bolt, so interchangers with bolt, or bolt rifles, and then we're going to take Reaper because it's Space Marines and it's Incursion. I mean, and it's yeah, so you're, you're going to kill something, right? <laughs> yeah. So in the Survivor, you get two experience if you survive and an additional two if you're at least half strength. And I just need that to level them up without having to give them the... With an MVP? The MVP, yeah, yeah. so... Yeah. Okay, yeah, and the winner gets to do two MVPs as well, so... <laughs> Let's roll off to see who goes first. Booyah! Oh, oh, look at that. The Clash of the Titan. Oh, did no, it again. you did it again. Oh, I did oh it. come on now. Ooh. Oh, I'll take it. Six, six, and a three. You're going to go first? Yeah. Okay. So you get a command point in your command phase, bringing you up to eight, because you had a bonus command point because you're fighting in a Tyranid infestation against a Tyranid player. Just a FYI, I have 11 command points. Because Steve has a crusade value of 15 and yep. mine is 6. Yep. So there's a difference of 9. You divide that by 2 round up. And I get 5 extra crit points. It is what it is. Yeah, we'll see if that helps. <laughs> Probably won't. We'll see. So starting your movement phase. Yeah, so uh, we're going to have them reconnoiter this quadrant. Okay. We're going to have these guys do literally this. And then they're going to they're gonna investigate this side. I will spread out. How are you charging me though? No, you can't charge me. You guys are uh, terrible. I can. I can double advance. You can not. double advance? Well, I'm cracking, but no, I can't. Because if I double advance, I can't charge you. I'm not a genius either. Okay. Well, you know what? Now you got me all worried. Let me back up a little bit. Well, I can still get there. You might want to go in the really, really far back. Are you serious? No. <laughs> I just try to get you far away from me. <laughs> How far does this chump move? Well, he's got plus two move. So yeah, He's eight base, so he's ten movement, but then he's in here, so it'll be eight inch move. Okay, well, I don't want to get charged by him. So we're gonna just go to here. We can't shoot you anyway, because our guns are really bad. Well, 18 inches. Or short range. range. 18 inches, so. 
But we don't mind these guys getting in the fray. Well, because you have the stratagem to make me only fight if I'm in engagement range, right? Yeah. Now the Toxic Queen won't care about that, but if a big move I'm, I'm actually going to walk out farther because I don't think I need to worry about what you have on the table. Ah, I don't know anymore. Rending we'll Claw Warriors, they're okay. And the Prime to give them a little buff. I don't mind if they come in. So we're going to roll for end of movement, all my stuff. That's it? Yeah. Okay, so you want all your stuff to come in? Oh, well, yeah, why not? Uh, actually, I might not want the bolt rails coming in yet. Well, just declare so, it as you roll it. Uh, this is the uh, chaplain. Yes. Oh, I should place him, actually. I shouldn't have rolled him first. Okay. Well. So he's going to come on your battlefield yeah. edge? Yeah. Holy within six inches? But I'll be within one, right? Yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, it's holy within six inches of your side. Now, if it's your own side, you can be closer than nine inches from enemies. Who's that. next? Uh, the bikers. Yes. On. Oh no, I'm gonna roll none of these, aren't I? They're gonna come with the chaplain. Vroom vroom. Actually, chaplain's pretty tanky. He can you make any charges, he'll be fine. Finally, whoop, lieutenant. Yeah. Jeez. I think I'm gonna come on this think side. I'm gonna save the bolt rifles. Ooh, I could help over here. Reroll ones to wound bubble. Uh, that would really make you not want to charge them. Maybe it will. You don't tell me what to do. Uh yeah, he's gonna go here. Okay. So end of your turn, you complete your investigation, they get an experience point, and you also complete the recon sweep of that quarter, which doesn't get you any victory points yet, and you don't get any objectives yet, because it's this end of your command phase. Not the first one, though? Yeah, this one still specifies you don't get the objective points in the first battle round. Oh, well, I get my command point. Ooh, can I change something? Real quick. What, what, what? He doesn't need, I don't want him over on this side. Want the lieutenant over there? Yeah. Okay. Sure. So the toxic screen's gonna move up here. We're gonna put his butt out so that we can get through. Stupid tentacles. Oh, sorry, I should have declared my prime will do the recon sweep of this table quarter. So, yay. I lied. I'm afraid which reaction I was doing. He needs to be where he was. I was right my first time. Okay. My Tyranid Warriors are going to advance. They have Adrenal Glance, they get plus one to this, and then minus two from the terrain. So basically that'll go down to a one, then plus two, or plus one, so it's two, so eight inches. We'll come up to here. You know what, I could double advance. I could move another four inches, because I rolled a four for the advance, right? I rolled a three plus the one. Uh, won't be able to charge afterwards have other plans. You know what, I'm going to spend a command point for the Kraken special stratagem, which lets me double my advance roll. Oh, geez, what am I thinking? I'm Kraken. Whew, I get to roll three dice, so I get extra inch. Booyah! So I will still spend the command point, which lets me move five more inches. And the idea is just to, I won't be able to take that objective, but. Make three wounds a piece or four? Three. End of movement. I'm going to see who comes on. I'm going to roll for each one of them. So, Broodlord. <laughs> oh, of course not. Gene Stealers. <laughs> uh, Pyrovores. You got to place these, man. And Ripper Swarms. So, yes, the Ripper Swarms and Gene Stealers and the Carnifex. Oh, golly. The Gene Stealers and Ripper Swarms will arrive right there. Ripper Swarms grabbing that objective. Technically, the Gene Stealers, too, but they're going to try a charge. And then a Carnifex way over here because, I don't know, why not? Why There's not? an objective right there and terrain right there. <laughs> Toxicrete, I'm going to spend two command points on the... Ugh, not, not voracious appetite. It is the pathogenic slime, which gives him plus one damage to his shooting attacks. I've never thought to do this to a Toxicrete, but, you know, i got lots of command points. And he's going to fire all his uh, cho choking spores and massive toxic lashes at the Blade Guard veterans. Start with the choking spores. This is a D6 blast, so it's going to be a minimum three shots. Three shots it is. <laughs> Good start. Hitting on fours, watch out, Steve. Buddy. Woo! Hey, you got one. Yeah. Strength three, but I get to re-roll failed wound rolls. So. Strength three. Yeah. This is like a poison weapon. Okay. Think of it that way. Like The other one's higher strength. Fives to wound, re-rolling. This will be D3 plus one damage. Oh, that's actually pretty good. There's no AP. Oh. <laughs> hey, nothing. All right. The other one's uh, the, my massive toxic <laughs> lashes. These things. See how long they are? They can actually reach you eight inches away. Gross. Seriously. Uh, but there's just D6 attacks. Is it a blast weapon? No, but I rolled three anyways. <laughs> um, and we're yeah, hitting on fours. Blast tendrils. We got two hits. And uh, we're wounding on, this one's strength seven. So fours, fours because <laughs> of your transhuman physiology or whatever. Well, it's in a circle, but yeah. Sure, same thing. 
Four is to wound, re-rolling, because it's also poisonous. Okay, so these are both AP minus two, D3 plus one damage. Ooh, well, we don't so like that. We've got three up in four. Up four saves. Ooh. Uh, we're going to command point this, because we don't want to take that kind of damage. Well, fine. I destroyed a command point then. Ha, 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 ha. Now we'll go into the charge of phase. First, we'll try the Tox Crane into the Blade Guard Okay, just so they're, they got like a lot of attacks. Yeah, I don't care. Two okay. What else am I going to do? Stand there and let you charge me? That's fair. No, that's a fair point. <laughs> yeah. And by the way, he always gets to fight first. Cool. He has that rule. Now, mind you, it has that caveat that if your opponent can fight first too, then whoever's turn it is gets to choose who fights first. So if you charge me, you don't get, I don't get to hit you first. It's more like in follow-up rounds of combat. Why not? It says fight first. Because it actually has the caveat. Oh, it actually spells it out. But charging isn't fight first. Um, well, it does actually say things like charging or rules okay. of fight first. So okay. it specifies. So essentially, it activates in the same sequence of chargers. This is one of those things. That, yeah. It's fine. As I mean, long as you know. As long as you different know. Different worded rules, but the tier, all the Tyranid <laughs> fight first ones specify that chargers and other guys have the same rule of fighting first. Gotcha. Are at the same time, and whoever's turn it is chooses who goes first, okay. and then you go back and forth. So it's a free interrupt, basically, if you think about that way. Yeah. That, so we're charging. Terrible. <laughs> Close. Command point reroll. Ah, oh, come on. I'll tell you what, I'll give it to you. You don't no. have to charge. No. <laughs> I'm not taking your charity. <laughs> I'll take Sir. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> How much damage did you do in close combat? A lot. He's pretty good in close combat. Like, he's not worth his points or anything. <laughs> but, like, okay, you want to know? You really want to know his profile? Yeah. He's got six attacks. Okay. All right. What's going for him, assuming because he's Tyranids? No, it's three, actually. Wow. I know, okay. right? All right. I know. And so, get this. He's he's uh, threes to hit. He's strength. So, basically, the shooting attacks I did, he's the same in close combat. Is strength. DC plus one? It's not plus one because that was a stratagem. But he does get to reroll. Um, Can you do that stratagem in close combat? I wish. No, it's, a, it's voracious ammunition. Okay. Uh, or no, sorry, it's not voracious ammunition. It's it's, it's shooting. I can reroll. I do have a strategy to reroll wound rolls, but he already has that. Okay. So he's seven attacks, or six attacks, strength seven, minus two D3 damage, rerolling wound rolls. So, you know, I've got better stuff, but he, he's not a pushover, but he failed. Gene Steelers are going to declare a charge against your oh, yeah. Do you want Overwatch? No. Okay. I don't know what I need for this. Um, I'll let you know. It's not five. It's not five. And I've already used my command point reroll. Oh, okay. so. so we're done. That's good. Yeah, he had plus one to this charge, but I still didn't roll high enough for it. Well, at the end of my turn, I finish recon sweeping. It's been, it's been, it's been recon sweeped this quarter. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, is this card effect's not within 12 inches of the clear charge right No, okay. That's too bad. I would've tried. Because <laughs> actually, he could, he could do some good damage to them. He's minimum three damage, or he's three damage flat, so. He can do it, but once he gets shot at, he's dead. So that's that's uh, that's, uh, that's that's where my army is. No pyrovores or broodlord on yet, but maybe we'll see him next turn. You get a command point. Yeah, back what? up to eight. I got a couple of litanies to do. Back up to eight. Yeah, I only spent one. I only spent one. Okay, okay we're gonna do um, the mantra of uh, strength on a two plus. So it's plus one strength in attack. To whom? Oh, it has to be on him. But just to himself. Yes. Oh, okay. And now I'm gonna go with. Oh man. I'm gonna go with the something of rage, I think, plus one to wound. And we're gonna put on the bikers. What do you need to roll? Uh, two plus. Okay, so you're good. Are you holding any? Did I put nobody on? Uh, I'm, apparently I'm not playing to win this. <laughs> uh, so you didn't hold any objectives, so zero victory points at the end of your command phase. Not what I expected. Yeah, yeah, whoops. Okay, so they are gonna do, uh, they're gonna reconnoiter this one. Okay. Um, and then, we're gonna start moving. Okay. Dang, I done goofed. You done goofed. Well, that changes what I'm gonna do now, so what's gonna happen? Here's what we're gonna do. Are you able to shoot when you do actions? I can, yeah, I have a strategy. Face have a strategy. I'm working. Can, like, okay. Yeah. I was like, there's something that lets you do that. I can't remember what it was. Why did I leave this objective? I don't know. Just go back and sit on it. Like a good little blade. I'm like a centimeter. Boy. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna pull back. Okay. You could have charged the talk screen, but whatever. Oh. No, it's fine. Do I just abandon it now? Because you're going to have, you're going to get... Well, you got a unit in the back line that can go take it. No, i got to keep you from getting... I have, <laughs> I have a long-term plan here. Dang. You want to death to return to <sighs> Fine, I won't. All right, I've decided, I think uh, I've done goofed it. So we're going to essentially abandon this scenario. Well, it's only turn two. Okay. No, I know, but yeah, yeah, once I make a decision, I'm going to stick with it. Well, we'll see. We'll see if I can get enough points to make it matter. Took the seven with three eight up wounds, save, eight three wounds. up save, no involve. Yes, your auto cannons will kill it. I'll just stay put. 
Are you within 18 inches? Yeah. Okay. And they're normally longer than 18 inch range, right? Yeah, they're 48. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they're auto cannons essentially, but better. Well, do I feel like any one of these is gonna just? All right, we'll just come at me, bro. Actually, I'll make a little more room. I might send my chaplain as well because he's so good at killing things. Those bases are so awesome. Those, you know, oh, that's my chaplain. Those are gamer grass bases. Yeah, Steve buddy. did not paint these. They come Pre painted like done. this. So you can check them out on their website, but um, they should be sold in a lot of different retailers as well. So check them out. They're pretty awesome. They do supply us with a, a lot of our bases. So I guess I should you know, say sponsored. <laughs> but in this case, I actually, that's just genuine approval. And finally, this guy's going to come on out and do the action and... Wait a second. You got to get out of your quarter then. So you're investigating? Let's go this way. Yeah. So you're investigating. So oh, that's three. not going to help anybody, but that's fine. He's going to investigate this Well, way. he turned his auras turn off anyways when he does an action. Interesting. I knew that. Yeah. This doesn't come yeah, up very often, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Shooting. They're going to fire first into the Carnifex. We're going to start off with the Sergeant because he's a little different. How's he different? Uh, he has better AP and damage. Okay. So he hits on twos because he didn't move. And uh, strength seven, so we're on fours. I am going to come in. Why is it? Strength seven. Oh, four. Yeah, dumb. <laughs> I am going to come in, please. Go. You want him dead. So we got three on him, even though I have a bunch more shots, but whatever. Are these minus one, two damage? These are minus three. three minus damage. three, three damage? I know. I, I, this is, I didn't need to reroll that. I know this, but. Well, he's dead. No. He's, yeah. Yeah, he's dead. I had this many no. more. No. No. I want to. No. No. He's dead. Don't get to shoot his corpse. That's just wrong. Okay. All right. Do I get a battle scar? Ah, <laughs> oh, that's too bad. I was kind of aiming for everybody to have a battle scar to keep my crusade points down. Chapman is gonna fire him. He's within 18 inch range. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, It'll be minus one to hit. Oh, oh, we didn't tell everybody that. Okay, so everybody should know that um, all the spires have like spory musk around it, so you can't see through them. Yeah, they're obstructed. But these were counted as craters that are minus one to hit because of vapors. Yeah, like dense cover. Dense cover, light. Uh, sorry. Dense, oh whatever. It's the minus one to hit when you shoot in or through it. Yeah, then plus one saves and minus two movement. Uh, so you'll be minus one to hit, so you'll be hit on threes. And it's just, they're just bolters, right? So you'll be one yeah, they're five. minus two. But they're, mi they're fives to wound, so okay. He's All right, go for it. I'm not gonna do anything. We're hitting on fours. Why fours? Are he's you three? Threes. Oh, he's a chaplain. Yeah. They're all hitting, it's space marines, Matthew, we hit on threes. No, no, I'm thinking captains have twos to hit. Oh, gotcha, yeah, gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> Five. You, you you yell at me and say that, and your your guy literally just shot on twos. Oh, when I don't move, Dark Angel's got plus one to hit. Right. <laughs> you just yell at me. We hit on threes. <laughs> you literally just hit on twos. No, I thought you meant why are you hitting on. Like I thought you was like why are you hitting so well. Yeah. I think the other way around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how many hit? One one wound. I'm on this minus uh, two. Minus two. So I've got my. I'm three up safe normally with cover two up. So four up. Oh, is that one one damage? One or? damage. Okay. And then the other bikers gonna fire at him. The They're on hit. fours. Oh golly! And you do fives. better when it's worse, don't you? I do. So three of them. Are these minus anything? Minus two. Why are they minus two? Because their auto bolt rifles are minus one, and we're oh, in the tactical auto doctrine. Auto bolt rifles. So. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. And you're in the tactical doctrine because it's I, I have to be. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So four up again. Oh, well, he passed all those. So he's only lost one wound. So it's down to five. Anything else you got? Uh, yeah, we have six pistols going after the monster. Because why not? Threes. Okay. <laughs> Fives? No wonder your orcs do so well. Minus one. <laughs> Minus one, so four up saves. <laughs> one damage each? Only four up save on them? No, I, did I say four up? Yeah. No, I said three up. Okay. I just rolled one, one, two. He's down to nine wounds, but because of his dermic symbiosis, he counts as having 18 wounds left. Which doesn't do anything. Charge Is phase. It, all right, a bike's charge the toxic cream. Okay, go for it. You made it. Congratulations on your super close charges. No, I want to go on the far side though. You know, rev yeah. over the, the brrm, over the train. Oh no, you're stupid tent. Just pretend that you're there. I'm sorry. I put my butt that way so it'd be easier to fit, and then you decided to come. To I know. I, well, are. I didn't. I, I. I know. I changed my plans. Your bikes are enough though, just so you know. Um, they actually probably are. Yeah. I'm gonna send in my chaplain anyway. Sure. Why not? Send in the chaplain. You got it. You and demand. Then, and then you I'm big gonna bully. send in. Of course, them. Vanguard, just to make sure. Well, no, the Blinker do something different. Now, just remember, though, he gets to fight first as well. So once somebody fights it, he can fight. That, I, uh, I, 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 this might matter. It might change who you choose to fight it. 
because he also has acid blood. He does mortal wounds to you when you hurt him, possibly. Just using that charge to push up the field and get into this zone over here. Of course. Now, who do you want to fight? Okay, how many wounds you got? You got nine. Eh? Nine left, three up save, toughness seven, five up invuln because of the dermic symbiosis. <clears throat> well, he, he counts as having twice as many wounds left, so you don't actually bracket him until he's got three wounds remaining. A chaplain will do fine if he gets hit, so we're going to go ahead and have the bikers fight. Okay. We did a sergeant first. He's hitting on threes. He's not Ooh. that angry. He's winning on fours because of uh, plus one to wound. It's minus one. Minus one, so I get four up save. How much damage? Two each. Two damage. So hold on. Uh, you know, I'll just do it after. I do mortal wounds back to you when I lose wounds, but I can just, it's after your, all your attacks are going to be. And then threes for the other regular guys. So many attacks. And fours. Oh, not great. They get plus not one great. to wound? No, this is one damage. But hold on. Do they get plus one to wound? Yeah. Oh, okay. Whole squad does. The whole squad does. Why do they get plus one to wound? Because the litany I put on them. Oh, yes, yes, yes. You said that. Um, minus one? Minus one. Four up. So four wounds total that you did to him. Sixes do mortal wounds back to that squad. One mortal wound. So he's down to five. I already pulled two of those off. So he's not bracketed yet. Now he will fight. The question is, who does he fight? The bikes are probably easiest to kill. Mm. But he's only D3 damage. Well, I'm going to fight back against the bikes. I know they already fought. I'm not thinking he's going to stay alive. It's more like, how much damage can I do before he dies? I'm going to transhuman him. So you're going to spend a command point on that? Yep. So now I can only wound him on fours. So I've got my six attacks still. Hitting on threes. No rerolls or anything. Oh, I really wish there was a stratagem to let monsters reroll to hit. Whew. There's reroll wound, but he doesn't need that. He already gets that. Only the Haro Spexes have a stratagem reroll hits, but they are weapon skill four plus, so you kind of understand that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, wounding on four is because of your stratagem, rerolling because I'm basically poisonous. So, two of them at minus two, D3 damage each. Five up, saved. Oh, didn't even get one. So, you got, one three wounds. you got three wounds left on one guy. Yep. So, it could finish him off. Uh, you know what? What the heck? I'm going to reroll that. <laughs> and now I'm not going to kill anybody, am I? Oh, okay. Oh, you got him. <laughs> I got him. I was worried that then I'd roll another one and he wouldn't die at all. But I killed one. That's something. Who's fighting them next? The chaplain will go next. Uh, on the charge, because a couple of upgrades in the Mantra of Strength, he's up to seven attacks. He's hitting on twos. Wow. And he's up to Strength eight right now. Three to live. Okay, these are four mortal wounds in addition. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And these and are minus uh, two, three, four damage each. He's dead. <laughs> okay, so you took, I took five wounds in total because you don't keep going. Sixes do mortal wounds back to you. Wow, look at that. Well, he's got some bionics, so ignore that on a five. Well, he takes two. He's on a five. Huh. Well, neat. Now, on a six, he has his death throws, and every unit within three inches takes flat three mortal wounds, which could be good, but I got to roll a six. Oh, that's a bad idea to charge everybody in. I, I actually told you that as you were charging. I said that off camera to you. I'm like, by the way, when he explodes, it's the flat. While, while, while this is definitely true, <laughs> he, he doesn't process these move models. <laughs> it's okay. It's only if I roll six. If I had a stratagem, right, that could just auto six it. Totally would. Oh, it's death throws. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But it's flat three mortal wounds. Oh, flat three. And it's not D3. That's, the, that's his big thing. I don't know why it's on a six, because it's... Sorry, you know, he, he's so bad at processing. As he's explained to me, uh, on the six, he does this, this flat three. I'm processing, I killed him. He's going to definitely do three to everybody. Oh, this is me. There's not... only one in six, man. Wait, wait, what? Yeah, death throws. Yeah. Um, do you want to pile and consolidate I the do, guard better? I do, but I have to. Uh, I'm going to consolidate him. I like him where he is. I think he's I have the to double check. Everybody. I know, but I have to double check the FAQ on surfing. Do you know that offhand? Surfing? Um, pile it into one. Now, this is closer to consolidate the other one. There was, there was, well, it's there model was, by model. I know, but there was, they addressed it, and I don't want to, you know what, you know what? I'm care. not going to worry about you it. Can, you I can won't. surf all you like. It sounds kind of like fun. <laughs> Basically, we're going to stay the same as we go this way. Oh, I see. Yeah, we're, we're, we're You're kind of like them. rotating around the one, getting closer to them. I, I don't see any problem with that. I'm trying to push this. It's a weird pile and consolidate thing, because it means you killed your, your enemy, right? Well, ow. You killed Metoxicrine on my current effects. You wounded my Tyranid Prime. You finish your investigation on this side, mm -hmm. so that'll get you your possibly second investigation point. You gotta get more than me and more than half, right? So far you got more than me. Um, and that's an experience for you, Lieutenant, oh. as well, if you wanna mark that. I do, I do, I do, I do. But no victory points, because you have only recon sweeped the one. 
Oh, did you requand sleep right there? Is that what we, you were doing? We, we requand. We requand. Um, okay, so up. that's five victory points then, because it goes five when you get two, and then fifteen when you get three, and forty-five when you get four. I get a command point in my command phase, going back up to nine, and I'm holding two objectives, which is two more. It's an infinite more objectives than Steve, so I get an infinite number of. I points. get one. Fine. <laughs> it's twice as many as Steve. <laughs> Not as cool. <laughs> you do have one. I forgot. Uh, so I get five points for having and one, <laughs> five for two, and five for more, so I'm 15 points. So the score is 15-5, because Steve got five for the recon sweeping so far. Beginning my movement phase, I'm going to make a hard choice. The Tyranid Warriors are going to secure this piece of terrain. That's an action that will take until the end of my turn. So unfortunately, they don't. Uh, it, does, it does provide one really interesting thing, though. It turns off their synapse. So when those gene sealers charge in, they actually will have to worry about morale. But it uh, should be interesting. Interesting. Yeah. But they don't have to worry about instinctive behavior, so they can charge whatever they want. There's no minuses. Because that's the other thing. There's two things that Synapse helps. Everything has instinctive behavior. If you shoot at something that's farther away, it's minus one to hit. If you charge something that's not the nearest, it's minus two to charge. So any multi-charges usually end up with minus two. But Gene Steelers don't have instinctive behavior. They're more independent. But they still are not. They're the Vanguard, right? But they're not fearless either. So the Synapse helps them with their morale. But hopefully the Broodlord shows up. I have to roll four up though, so probably not. And uh, he can always help them out. My prime is going to move up here and start investigating. Basically, he found some footprints of Cypher and he's scuffing them up. <laughs> so you can't find him. Cypher was never here. But it's also an experience point for me. So. He was here. See, I scuffed up his footprints. You can't see them. Let's advance those gene sealers. Three! That's good enough. Well, they're going to come all the way up here. Now, Steve has an annoying stratagem that when I go to fight him, I can only fight with models that are in engagement range. So good. So it really shuts down units like Gene Steelers. So I'm gonna hope for a nice long charge and just pile around so everybody's in engagement range. Don't leave you gaps. Uh, technically you left me gaps, but I'm supposed to be on 32 mil bases. So that would, a 32 mil base wouldn't fit through there, so I'd have to come around. I definitely left you gap there, unfortunately. Well, I can also just go over the terrain. Oh, that's true too. Yeah, yeah you're so. Oh well. Yeah, but I, I was looking at them like, ooh, I can go through there. I'm like, wait, no, I should be on 32 mil bases. Play it as if you are. Roll low, bro. And then Ripper Swarms will just reposition under this objective. Actually, you know what? They're gonna come within an inch of this, so you can't destroy it. And so they could perform the action next turn if I needed to, if they're somehow still alive. Please come in. Four up, Pyrobors. No, Broodlord. Okay. <laughs> We're the one of Pyrobors. He's gonna come in this side. We're gonna try to take on those bikes. And the Death Leaper's gonna show up next to him. He was camouflaged in the lava all along. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> The Psychic Phase, he's gonna to attempt to manifest the horror. And he gets it with a 10. Do you have any way to deny it? I have no way to deny it. You don't have like a stratagem on a four up, you just ignore it. That's every, no, that's just the Black Templar. Yeah, the usually it's the people who don't have access to Psychers. I'm gonna put on the bike unit. They are now minus one leadership and minus one to hit. Ooh. So oh. the minus one to hit is, what I'm looking yeah. for. There's certain armies that the minus one leadership matters, but not as much in 40k. Although I'm kind of tempted to put it just on them, because I'm just hoping the charge I'll just kill them. So you know what? Yeah, I'm going to put it on them. Minus one to hit, and minus one leadership. So just remind you for both of those, they're plus one to hit because they're not going to move, right? So but that yeah. that negates. So but you don't have. You still go back to a three. So if, if I survive your charge there, they're hitting you on twos. In if close they don't combat, move, they get plus one to hit? Yeah, they get plus one to hit, the turn they don't move. For even close combat. I'm allowed to consolidate and pile in, and that, I can still get plus one to hit. But yeah, it's all attacks plus one to hit, then you move in the last movement phase, which was yours. Ow. Oh, whatever. I, I should, he should and, kill them. He and, should and, kill them. And they do have plus one to wound. And They the, should kill them. And I do have transhuman physiology. They should kill them, Transhuman they, physiology. He gets to reroll wound rolls, so. Okay. He's going to be hitting on twos, he's going to have seven attacks. He's going to be wounding you on fours, re-rolling. How much six, damage? Well, it's, um, D, it's minus three D3. Unless I'm, I roll six. I'm becomes, going to survive. No, I roll six becomes minus six flat three. You got to roll sixes or you're going to die. I get to re-roll I'm just rolls. messing with you, dude. You're fine. I'm fine. <laughs> That's if I make my nine charge. I know. I get to re-roll <laughs> this for free. Now we're going to do some charges. Both these guys get to re-roll charges. The Death Leaper gets to re-roll charge when he shows up. That's just his built-in ability. Now the Broodlord gets to reroll charges because he got the Friends on Injector, the Crusade Relic. Are you with an interview over here? What is this Whatever, just, it's fine, you know I'm close. And <laughs> so I'm going to declare a charge with the Death Leaper first. Would you like to Overwatch? How many wounds you got? Not going to Overwatch? Nah. Nine inch charge. Reroll, please make it. Please make it! Yes! 
Oh, don't make it by yourself, buddy. And the Brood Lord? No! No! Yes! <laughs> yes! yes! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, headphone users. <laughs> Then we're gonna swing over here, the Gene Sealers Declare Charge, just into your intercessors. Morning. Five, that's good enough. As we'll come around. We'll make sure everybody's in engagement range. Poo poo to you, you, and your dude. Can you get them all in? Okay, not all in. Well, maybe. There might be a couple, so you can. How many attacks per model again? Is it like four? four? I'm not gonna do nothing. Okay. Go ahead. I'm gonna just pull them. Your guys? Should I pull them? Can you, can you well, no, because I have to decide who's going to fight first. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so that's the problem. Cause oh, so them. I might want to let them... Nah, nah, nah. Do you have to do it now? Or? I have to do... Yeah, before you pick... I start the fight phase, I got to do it. Oh, are you going to do it? No. Okay. As much as it pains me to do so, I need to kill the bikes. Um, because you're... I, either way, I'm in trouble when you interrupt. So I'm going to start with the Broodlord, who will just pile in to touch both of them. So there's no shenanigans if you're moving all that kind of stuff, right? And we'll fight. Now, do you have your transhuman physiology on them already? Or do you have to spend command points for that? Their strength, whatever? Those are strength four. You know what? Yeah, sure. Oh, crap. I'm going I'm to interrupt. Uh, well, you're strength five, right? Mm -hmm. So you're going to fours anyway. Yeah. So I'm not going to do... <laughs> well, but he's strength six. I'll do it when he attacks. Oh, Maybe. <laughs> all right. Well, I get the hit on twos. No rerolls. This is the most painful roll ever because every one of these attacks is important. Oh, oh, thank goodness. The rest should be easy. It's fours re-rolling. They're minus three D3 damage, but any sixes to wound are minus, minus six. Straight three. Flat three damage. So we're just looking for like a bunch of sixes. Just six sixes, not seven. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be, a, okay, we got one. I'm going to keep those three fives. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I think he's only re-roll failed wounds anyways. Yeah, I don't get to just re-roll wounds. I wish they would change that. So I can... Okay, okay, so we got the two sixes. Um, I I know that we're supposed to do these one at a time. So Steve, I'll let you allocate them in whatever. Dude, dude, that's not how we do it anymore. No, that's how no. Nobody does it that way. Nobody plays this game rules as written. I, I found out. Yeah. So what do so you do? I'm. You're gonna randomize. The no, order? I'm gonna roll my saves. Those those are gonna go through no matter what, right? Right. So but it's one the order that dead. they go through. So okay. So you want these to go through it first? Does, it makes no difference, man. Sure it does. No, he's gonna die first no matter what. Because I, I could roll one one one, and then that finishes him off and it doesn't kill the other one. You see the difference? Oh, you're right, you're D3. Yes. Oh. So, you know what, roll the saves. Okay. Roll the saves, they're minus three. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, because two, well. It, it, it literally doesn't matter. Uh, You've done eight wounds to me. Yeah. No, we'll just, no. Okay. Okay, we'll normally what I do is let my opponent choose which pool. No, I know, first. I'm not, you, you did well enough. Okay. <laughs> I killed him. Look at me, I'm, I'm a man. And uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna hide right here, and cower. <laughs> you wanna interrupt? Yeah, I'm gonna interrupt. All right, bye bye, Gene Steelers. Come on in. All right, right. wanna pile in. You don't oh, want to attack with sure, the guy? Sure, 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 sure. No, you don't have to. You don't have to pile in. You do have to attack with everybody who's in, who's able to fight. Uh, you're going to do more than you didn't have. Okay. Uh, whatever so, uh, power fish first. Hitting on threes, you're plus one to hit. And nothing but twos. <laughs> twos. And you might as well wait because you're all saving five of Yeah, it's all five of it. Well, and I don't care about how much damage you did. I don't have an ignore wounds mechanic. So, and we're hitting on two. Oh! <laughs> hitting on twos of the chainsaws. <laughs> Should have hit, should have hit them with the the horror. And fours, and these are my. It doesn't matter. So no, we have total seven. seven. Well, as long as I lose one of these, I lose thirteen attacks. Because wow, because they're plus one attack when there's ten of them. So I lose one. That's thirteen attacks when you do the math. You lose the ten attacks of the extras plus the three of the guy. Five up. So I just you lost thirteen, sixteen, nineteen, twenty-two. I just lost uh, twenty-five attacks. Five of them die. Well, I'll kill the three that are not in base contact with you. Uh, plus, uh, plus these two. Oh, they don't have no, uh, synapse? They don't right now, because their synapse is turned off. Yeah, they're, they're, they're leadership nine, though, so. I mean, I'm sure they're fine. But synapse are back on in your turn, right? So they'll be back in synapse next turn? Yeah, but if they run right now. No, 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 but I'm talking for next turn. I'll take them. I'll, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Next turn, I'll be there. So I got 15 attacks. I do have toxin sacks on these, so sixes to wound will do two damage and be AP minus four. That's basically what we're looking for. And they're for. just strength four, right? So. Yeah, they're just strength four. So threes to hit, no rerolls. Oh, shoot. I have two acid. I mean, you know what? I'll just say I killed the acid moths. Make it simpler. They're flat minus three AP. Ooh. Ooh. Um, and then these are going to be fours to wound, but we're really just looking for five sixes, please. Five sixes. Well, two are dead. That's not nothing. And then four more at minus one. Four up. Four up, save. Oh, you um, couldn't let me kill a third one, eh? 
just had to, you had to do that. So two and a half dots. I wonder if I'm gonna, no, I'm not gonna kill my surgeon. <sighs> yeah, I will kill my surgeon. And then one takes a wound. My Death Leaper did charge as well, so I could pile in a, and consolidate. So I'll just do that to nab some cover. That's not gonna matter. I know. <laughs> now I have two things next to the objective, at least. It's just, you know, you That's gotta play everything you got. Shh. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> I'm gonna fight again. Uh, well, hold on, I can fight again. Oh. And it's my turn. So I get to choose the order of the stratagems. You just fought. Punk. Well, how do you fight again? I don't know. I actually have never, never once done it before. Hey, look it up. Is it a stratagem to yeah. at the end of the fight phase? I think, I think so. Well, I've then, never... Yeah, then I can go first. Okay. Then. But I'm curious to see what yours is before I decide. Yeah, fair. End of the fight phase, we both have stratagems that let us fight again. You're, you have one for Assault Intercessors, I have one for any tier. How many are you down to? I just used three because I'm about to fight again. So I'm down to five. Okay. And so I am going to fight against those gene stealers. Because it's my turn, I get to choose the order of stratagems if both people have ones that activate at the same time. So here we go. <laughs> if I can do exactly the same as I did last time, then I finish you off. Threes to hit. So gene stealers can be scary. It's just, usually that's why you bring with the Swarm Lord, you know, double move in the first turn. They get in there with like 20 guys and do a bunch of damage and then die. Mm -hmm. And then we're looking at fours to wound, but we're really looking for three sixes. I actually rolled a lot of hits there, by the way. There's the three sixes. They're done. Okay, that was worth three command points. And I'll oh. spend two more to auto pass morale. No injury. No battle scar. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spend two more. Well, okay, because I lost five on leadership nine. So as long as they don't roll a five or six, I'm okay. But I don't want to take that chance. So I'm going to spend two command points and auto pass for my once per game. So end of my turn, I have successfully secured this piece of terrain. Ha ha. Yeah, poo poo you... to you. Um, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break the stalemate of Tyranids versus Necrons in these two games. And then Luku will play and probably bring it back to where it was before. And uh, on top of that, I do finish his investigation. I scuffed up the Cypher footprints. and I get an, So I get an experience for him and two for them. Command phase. Okay, I'm getting a command point, and we're gonna do some litanies. We are gonna do a mantra, mantra of strength. Nope. Oh, it's failed. Now, um, we are gonna go ahead and do, um, your toughness one on these guys? Is it four and five? Five and four. We are gonna do hatred. We rolled a hit. Got yes, that. oh wow, very hatred. Very, very much. Very, very hatred. Very, very hatred. Unfortunately, this guy is like literally a hair out of getting into the, the proper sweet spot of investigating the final site. So they have to do it, which is really, really frustrating. Because mm, they got to give up all that. Well, I'm going to have to spend two command points. Well, you points. can spend a command points and still fire, right? Yeah. But they're minus one to hit. But they're heavy weapons anyway, so it kind of negates my horror psychic power. Well, we're going to go with the forge move over here first because somebody was in the terrain. <laughs> He didn't get the message. Stay out of the goop pool. <laughs> well, we should be flying. Making that charge. Uh, <laughs> Where's the rest gonna go? Okay, this is what he, so I want to send these guys over here and then him to go deal with them and then like shoot down that guy or whatever. With a, the with problem, a stratagem so you can yeah, yeah. while you're the doing that. The problem is the pyrovores and I pop over there and melt him. And no one has ever been afraid of pyrovores, ever. And yet you are. And yet I am. Um, Three heavy flamers, man. 10 inch range though. <sighs> And then they could charge you and do like power weapon attacks kind of thing. Okay, and then, we're gonna, and then we're, when you inevitably kill them, they explode on you and do mortal wounds. I think we're gonna ignore the warriors for one more turn. All right, your funeral. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's somebody's funeral. Yeah, I, just, I think it's about to be a bunch. Actually, of the bike will move first. We're gonna stand there. I'm gonna figure where the bike is gonna go. Just come right here, right close to the pyro. So you can get really safe with a 10 inch range. You're like a 16 inch threat. Oh, you're so afraid of the I don't I don't want, little baby. I don't want to be the guy who lost his warlord to power wars on the internet. <laughs> yeah. Go down as the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to Steve. Oh! I know what to do. Hold oh. on. Oh. I know exactly what to do. Master Kay. plan activated. I forgot I can move after fighting. Oh see so you're gonna you run away. <laughs> Goodbye. You run away. <laughs> He'll come around. You're assuming you're gonna survive. Buddy, I'm gonna swing and then I'm gonna drive away. Well, that means I can interrupt wherever you're charging next. Yeah, that's gonna be a thing. <laughs> Don't forget your wound token, punk. Stop, okay? All right, stop. Now you gotta be all nervous again. I'm going back this way. 
<laughs> Why did it get in my head? <laughs> oh! <laughs> you realize you're killing me, right? I know, but I don't want to lose I've, this crappy tiered army. I killed your bikes and your assault intercessors, so that's something. Mm -hmm. I, I pride myself Never on that. Jump. You did it. You did it with an you up, did it. upgraded You version. got it in my head. You made me change my plans. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. And then your last group of intercessors are going to arrive. Yeah, we're just going to throw them back here. Six inches. Just get ready to support the other assault intercessors. Actually, we're going to get max 15 away because we're cowards. They can move we're not playing. Inches. We're not playing for points in this game. They move eight inches with an advance and a charge and 3d6 advance and take the best one. You're not going to wait until oh, they're alive. But they're not going to be alive. Wait, 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 wait. I, wait, 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 wait. I forget where I did the, I did these two. Uh, I'm gonna move them over a bit. Are you doing an investigation or recon sweep? They're doing investigation. That's my third one. I got so that one, this one, this one. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I got one. So you'll get three investigation points. More than me and at least half. More than half. Okay. Shooting phase. Okay, the intercessors are gonna fire at the gene stealers first. With their pistols? No, this counts as moving, right? Yeah, of course it does. So we're hitting on... In, oh, Age, in Age of Sigmar it does not. In 40k it does. Wrong squad. They died, they died already. I was going to say, I <laughs> yeah. thought you had... This is the Bulkan squad. Regular intercessors. Not assaulting. So they're going to fire their auto bolt rifles in yeah. tactical doctrine. Nothing that matters against gene stealers. Oh! At the gene stealers. This is battle round three. As I say, what doctrine I want to be in. I want to be in assault doctrine. Okay. My guys are all So the rest of the game, assault doctrine. Yes. So we're hitting on threes. Not too bad. And fours to wound. Fours. Oh. And then hold on, before you even roll the saves, there's gonna be five more pistols. You might as well, you don't have oh, here, here's one grenade, and then pistols. Uh, they did move. So we have a total of five wounds on them. Two of them are left. They want me in there, eh? Ah, I don't have much of a choice. This guy, it all they will for the same time. Uh, the same, no, I have to do separately. So the chaplain first, on threes into that lone character. Hurricane Bolter? Or not Hurricane Bolter, just no, auto bolt right Fours. Minus one. Minus one, so four up. Saved. And then the pistols on threes and fives. These are minus two because we're in the Because of an assault yeah. doctrine. Five up. So one wound gets through, so he's down to four. Okay, uh, it is time to charge. So we're gonna go ahead and have this squad here charge of a leaper and him. I have no overwatch. Well, I, I could technically overwatch with him, but it's not really Four inches? Oh, that should be in. Yeah, but you it's not, a model there and a not model there. good enough, but... Well, you can still pile in. It'll be fine. I guess as long as... Yeah, I do have bone swords. Bone swords. Bone sword. What about your uh, chaplain? Both Going after your... You can just, just him. You can just... Just him? Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. Sure. All right. So I was going to fight. These five will go after them. See? You would have caught them. Oh, we'll just Tuck get within in. half. Oh, yeah. Ah, yeah, lots. You're good. You're good. Because you got a pile in, too. Chaplain. Where do you want to fight first? Chaplain will go first. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right, so we're hitting on twos into the Broodlord, and we're re-rolling hits. Ooh, good thing. That's your hatred. And he's strength only seven right now. So threes to wound. Ooh. Ooh. Four wounds. What's the AP and damage? AP three, but it's going to be um, three damage a swing. Oh, so only two, these, only two of these have to wait, get wait, through. Wait, wait, wait. How many you got there? Five of been involved? Um, five of been involved. Only two have to get through to kill me. I'm going to reroll one because... You want to make sure? Yeah. Oh, that's a mortal wound as well. Well, it doesn't matter because only two have to get through. That's fair. So five of involves. Wow. We're going to say that your reroll mattered. Yeah. Let's say it was <laughs> one of those. So you killed him. Uh, Battle Scar? No. Now, um, I'm going to spend two command points and fight. What? Yeah, my characters have that. Well, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm spending two command points first to drive away. Well, hold on. Let me see. My Just... happens immediately after I swing. Immediately after I swing. Let's double check all this. Yep. So we got interesting wording going on here. My strategy says, immediately when he is slain, before I remove the model. Your strategy says, after you have fought. Right? Uh, I can't remember now. <laughs> Read it, read it okay. exactly. So, use a strategy in the fight phase after every unit in your army has fought. Has fought. If the unit is within the engagement range of enemy units, it can fall back as if it were the movement phase. Otherwise, it can make a normal move as if it were the movement phase. So, okay. here's your, so, here's so your the question is, is, does mine activate before your, yours or at the same time? Well, here's, 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 okay, here's the argument. If yours, okay. 
If yours, inter <laughs> this is okay. Because <laughs> mine has two different conditions, right? If I'm in engagement range, I do a fallback move. Yeah, if I'm yeah. not, I do a move. Okay. So if, if you're dead, I do a move. Right. But if you haven't died yet, I will do a fallback right yeah. now, and then you'll die. Right. Right? No. Well, that's what, that's what you would, <laughs> yes, but the question still remains, do you get to do that before I go? Because it's after you have fought. So, you, is, before the model's removed, have you, been, have you finished fighting? Because the sequence would be, you roll the hit, yep. you roll the wound, mm -hmm. then I make my saving throws, then we allocate wounds, remove slain models, right? That's the sequence. Right. Right? So at which point have you finished fighting? After you've rolled the wound rolls and I'm rolling my saves? Yes. Yes? Because then you can no. run away before I roll my saves. Yes. Because what if my... What if I have a rule then, like acid blood, where I do mortal wounds to you whenever you take wounds off? Of oh, me? stop overthinking this. Much as the... <laughs> Let's get out the rule book. <laughs> so here, here's what it says. When you select a unit to fight, so okay, you selected mm -hmm. the chaplain to fight. It first piles in, then the models and unit must make, must make close combat attacks, which we know there's rules for how, and then the unit consolidates. So at which point would you say the unit okay, is so, done, is has so this is fought? So I say, I I say it's after they consolidate, which is, that means I get to do my strategy first. Steve's like, well, no, I don't have to consolidate. I, I have a very good argument to that. So this, I want to be clear so people who are understanding at home, Matt and I are not arguing. Oh, no, no. We both <laughs> agree in these in yeah, this is we're, so, we're, we're curious. So here's my, here's, here's, here's my, here's my right counter answer. to that. So um, if I go to my shooting phase and I don't shoot them, right. my shooting phase never ends because I, I can shoot them. I'm nope. choosing not to? No, you actually, it actually says to choose all, any ones that you want to, and then the shooting phase ends. But I don't have to, I don't have to consolidate. You're right. But it's still part of the sequence. And you consolidate so shooting, after- So shooting phase. Yeah, no, 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 no. You, you, um. I saw your eyes. <laughs> no, I, I'm, I'm trying to word it properly. It basically, it says when a unit fights, you, you first pile in. What if you don't pile in? Does that mean you don't get to make your attacks? Because it says you first pile in, then you fight. So what if you don't pile in? Are you not allowed to fight? Oh, you're so, like okay. it. I like so, it. I like so basically it. it's pile in, fight, consolidate. You can choose to not pile in, and you can choose to not consolidate, but it's still in the sequence, right? When models are removed is before you consolidate. And so I would say that you're still fighting because of that. That's my only argument. So, this is all I've got and, to stand and, on. And, oh, oh, this is all okay. I've got. So, um, and I know, I by, the way, by the way, audience, you know, if neither you, one if, was cared. I think I don't think you can kill me. No, no, no. Neither one's cared. Oh, no, I guess I could kill you. I could kill you. If, if, if this kind of thing comes <laughs> up and you really can't come to agreement, you roll a die, right? I don't like that because. Well, I think that's where we are because I would say that this is going to get ruled that happened at the same time. Yeah, maybe. But until an FAQ is out, we have to go by rules as written. Right. Right. And you think you got the rules as written? I th well, I think it's a tenuous argument. I think uh, I have. A slightly, I think I would rank myself at 55% to your 45. That's interesting because that's exactly, I was going to say exactly that. Except opposite. 55% that it's going to be ruled that I picked the order of this happening in. Well, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not guessing the percentage chance that Games Workshop will change this or not. No, that is the interpretation. I'm saying that's, that is how it's interpreted. Oh, I see. But I, I also say I could be wrong. Well, I, no, I'd be confident <laughs> that if the Games Workshop were to make a ruling, they say it's all at the same time. Um, it's just weird. Okay, so because okay. mine, mine activates when you kill me before I remove the model. Here's where and we you are. Definitely remove models before you consolidate. We can agree on that, right? I, so your question is, can I count as having been finished fighting? No, I got literally it. before. I got I, it. No, I got it. You got to move away before I remove the model. I have the have I you, have I, the proper solution. Okay. Um, that you're gonna hate. Here, here's where we're at. Either we roll off, or you have to make the call. Or I have to what? Make the call. Oh yeah, that's fine. Um, so, but here, so what you're basically, remember, yeah. if you're right, what you're saying is you can fall back before I've removed models. Essentially is what does I'm that, saying. Does that feel right? Yeah, that, I, yes, that's it why. Does? But I also accept, so why would it have I the, could be way wrong. So why would it have the caveat in the stratagem to say, if you're in engagement range, fall back, if you're not normal move? You would never be in normal move. Uh, yes, actually it does matter because it's a Dark Angel thing, and Dark Angel, uh, Space Marines, when they fall back, can't complete certain... A secondary is Yeah, yeah, no, that's not the point. You could never do a normal move. If you're saying what do you mean? that you have to do the stratagem before models are removed, then you'd always be falling back. Actually, I can. Also, oh, oh, you get to choose I can do it. I can when do you're done fighting. Fight. Yeah. So you get to choose when you're done fighting. Yes. Oh, that's, see, I think that makes your argument much more, like, much less good. Yeah. Much worse. That's the word I'm, I'm saying. <laughs> It's much lower. I'm okay. You can, I'm okay with you fighting. I, I see. I don't. I, 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 
Yeah, like, you know what? I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna fight. fight. Do it. That's, that, fight. that's more fun. Right. Fight me. Two command points. I might not spend that stratagem now. <laughs> well, you don't. You don't have to choose to, right? <laughs> because if I'm going first, then you haven't spent your stratagem yet. So I'm down to one command point, and I, you charge me, so I've got seven attacks. So two's to hit. Uh, you know what? My last command point. What's your strength? Not strength uh, five. Okay. So but, no I get, <laughs> but I get to remove, re-roll yep. uh, failed wound rolls. So four is the wound, sixes are what I'm really looking for. Okay. They don't, right. they don't, oh, sixes do matter. Sixes is minus six. Do you have an involve? It's in involve. One? Okay. Yeah, it's all involve. They're all involves, but this one's flat three. Yep. So the flat three one, you're good. And then the other, <laughs> not going to do anything. Ah! Uh, I'm going to re-roll one for sure. Okay. So 3d3 damage. Do I, you reduce damage at all? No, I do do you ignore damage? I ignore damage. Oh. Ooh. Seven. Seven. You gotta roll three fives. And make it all moot. We got it. It's moot! And then we'll drive away. Well, you don't have to now. No, we got the pyrovores. <laughs> he's got one wound. You know what, actually? Yeah, now he's one wound. Because now you can do normal wound in advance. Be like, zip, zip, and we're out of here. <laughs> pip, pip, see you later. Oh, he's so afraid of pyrovores. <laughs> I refuse. I feel embarrassed for you, man. I'm gonna go all the way. Uh, for, uh, I've only got one more. command point left now, so I can't actually interrupt. <laughs> no, 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 so no, no, I, no, no. Now I love your. I'm sure people are already leaving comments. What do you think? What Honestly, you guys, I I cannot. There there might be a. Um, you guys probably page 23 in the third paragraph on the side. There could be a thing. Ah, I doubt it. But there might be an but FAQ. The there might be an FAQ for another codex, which could set a precedent to help us. But I suspect if we were to find a 9th edition codex that has a thing that fights after death, it'll be clear how they wrote that one. But you wrote, that is a 9th edition codex. No, this is, this is yours is a fight after death. Oh, mine. Is mine. there a 9th edition codex that has, uh, currently has to be a fights after death? I don't know. Oh, wait, Space Freeze do. <laughs> don't they? they care. Now that we're post, uh, literally 15 seconds have passed. Now that we're after the situation. Hold on one second. Continue. Sorry. He's like, okay. So now that we're out of the situation, I'm sitting back thinking about it. I, I no longer am biased by being in the situation. My gut says, if I had to rule this as a TO, I would rule it that the guy could fight. Right. And now I am, I'm pretty confident that I was right, but I'm not confident that Games Workshop won't FAQ and change That's it. exactly how I feel. Yeah. And so so I think I, that's the argument, I right? Think rule, like, what did they intend? Today I'd have to rule it the way we just did it, but Post FAQ, I think they're going to rule that the guy can't fight, but we don't know what's happening. If there is even good FAQ about it, but I'm, kind of I'm comfortable what will happen there. We're good. Yeah, well, you survived, so whatever. You, yeah, got, that's you a, got away from the That's also course. why. The fear's gone. <laughs> so you're right. I only have one command point left, so I can't interrupt. That was my price of all of that, is not being able to fight with my two gene stealers. I don't think I would have, anyways. There's two salt instructors in the gene stealers. You got them. Hitting on threes, maybe. No. And uh, I think fours. You got <laughs> and then we have four no, more stop, tracks stop, on stop, threes. Stop, stop. Those are fours, dudes, but they're all fours. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't you do it. There I did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> stop, stop. They're, they're already, already dead. dead. Battle Scar. Nope. So I think. Is this. Can I. Good. Is that. Are we in two Yeah, because he's going to be in the middle linking them. Yeah, okay, we're good. So, so, we're good. Three, so three there and two. two there. So into the Leaper. Now it's, on minus, threes. it's minus two to hit him, so minus, minus one. two to. It's not overkill at all. Hit on fives? Well, you don't get the minus two, you get minus one. Oh, yeah. Of course. It's just if you have any. Oh, uh, we're trying five, so threes? Threes to wound. AP damage? Uh, minus four, two damage each. Alright, I did. Okay. Uh, I got a five up save and six wounds, so you just did eight wounds. He's dead. Okay. Against the. Uh, the prime? sergeant, he's his different. So hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you roll it, these are how much damage each? Two and three. Oh, uh, the sergeant has. Oh, goodness, he has one more thing. He also has plus one to hit. So I just roll you know what? What the heck? I'm going to spend my last command point on unyielding chitin and make minus one damage. Okay, so the sergeant will be hitting on twos. And he's strength five, so one lieutenant is not doing the action. And I think I moved out of the rate. Oh, no, I'm not. Just I, within six? I'm just within six. Reroll roll the ones then. Was it three of them or two of them? <laughs> it was two of them. Okay. So two of them. AP? Four. Oh, okay. How much damage normally? Uh, three each. So that's two now, and he's dead. <laughs> oh, the other guy, but yeah, okay. And he's dead. I know. He's dead. God. Battle I, scar. I was no, he still stays blinded. Not to the objective because I can't get to anything. Let's go that way. Okay. Is that all you got, buddy? I'm sorry. <laughs> Space mage. It's fine. Oh, no. But brave, brave Chapman Brachiel investigating behind this. Yeah, player. right. Oh, what's brave? Here, guys? Look at Cipher could be right here. You just checking. <laughs> Really? Now we know he's not there! Yeah, 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 you were always wondering, is he over here? Oh god, he's over there! 
Uh, my turn, I guess. I get a command point, I control one objective, and the same as you, so that's five more points for me. You're winning. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Not by much, though. If you just kill me, like, next turn, they can just recon sweep and win. Maybe, I don't know, actually. Um, it's 20 to nothing right now. <laughs> no, that's nothing. You got five for the No, I get those at the end. Oh, yeah, really? yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't get five yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so what's been recon sweeped? Just that corner right there? Uh, I reconned two. I reconned yeah, this recon one two? and this one. No, no, you investigated that one. No, I also reconned it. Oh, you. Mm. That's why you got five. That's right. That makes sense. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you can all of them be like recon, and then the last turn recon, and that's 45 points. That's anyway. the plan. Yeah, right, because you were going for scenario when all along. Oh, golly. I don't know what to do. I don't think there's any way. Well, hold on. Okay, well, no, no, no. First off, beginning movement phase, Ripper Storms are going to secure the objective, or okay. secure my piece of terrain. Boom! Tyranids have now advanced in their objectives. Boy, look who's standing on that. I don't care. You can destroy it all you want. It doesn't make a difference. And he will. Yeah, that's fine. I got I'll my two. I got my two. Whatever. Shh. Hey, it's my turn. Yeah, you have Pyre Wars coming in. Remember the Pyre Wars. Okay. Uh, the real question, what are the warriors going to do? I'm going for blood. My uh, warriors are coming this way after your assault that's professors. my blood. Yep, I want your blood. Your blood mode. Pyre Wars will show up way deep in uh, your side. They're looking the wrong way. Look the right way, guys! They don't work if you shoot backwards! There we are. See you later, buddies. <laughs> Three basically heavy flamers. Yep. Ready, ready to die? Yep. Ten inch reach. 100% ready. Okay, here we go. Yep. This might just want to hit you. Okay. So, uh, 11 hits. Threes to wound you! Punk! Hey, that's not too bad. How many threes did you roll? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, how many threes? Half yeah, you, you should have transhuman, but whatever. You didn't need to. Eight. Yeah, but it's just minus one. Yeah, I you killed, killed two, two and a half because you didn't let me. I didn't stop you. You 100% did. I was like, guys, I'm going to transhuman. He's like, I'm not letting you do it. I want to win. No, there's nothing on he camera to prove that. He, he didn't do that. I'm being a salty winner. <laughs> there's nothing on camera to prove that. <laughs> We've just seen you be salty. <laughs> We're going to charge that way. Yeah, yeah, bring it on. They got adrenal glands, so they get plus one of this. <laughs> Last command point. Yeah! Oh, cook that. I'm coming in for dinner. Wait, 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 you gotta measure your roll 10. I'm coming in for because dinner. Because of my thing. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna okay. measure. And we'll try it for an 11 inch charge here because I'm going through muck. Nope. Okay, we're good. Unless you wanted Overwatch. No, I don't. Okay. I'm up, or sorry, beginning fight phase. Do you want to do the thing where I can I think with? you're gonna want it, right? Well, maybe one. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it. Okay. So we'll pile in this way. He'll pile in this way. We'll, right there. No, there might be actually one that wouldn't have been able to fight. Yeah, see, I would have been. How many attacks would you have lost? Like three or four? Three or, that is correct, three or four. Yeah, so yeah, it's, it's all good. 18 attacks from my rending claws, hitting on threes. They're veterans, so they reroll ones. Hmm. Look at all those twos. But you know what? That's fine, that was a good roll. Save the sixes, boys. Strength four. Uh, just like rending claws, these are minus one AP. But if I roll sixes, they become minus four. But specifically, did I give them toxin sacks? I did give them toxin sacks. I gave them all the upgrades. So sixes will also be two damage. So we're looking for sixes. I don't have any rerolls here, by the way. Well, two of them are dead. And then we've, yeah, I'm not gonna kill them all. Unless, yeah, no, I'm not gonna kill them all. So there's five wounds in there at minus one. Four up. Uh, so two, three and a half dead? Three and a half dead. Yeah, three and a half dead. And you're minus two leadership next to them because of their adaptive to physiology. Because they're scary. And I will consolidate. And then you can play me back. All right, thunder hammer. Oh no, is it thunder hammer? Threes. No, that's right. Just, I should have saved my command point for minus one damage. Twos. Oh no. AP uh, damage? Minus three. Okay, that's three. Nice. Okay, so that's uh, three of them dead. It's all right, they're, they're fearless. <laughs> oh. And the sword on twos. <laughs> Ow. Fours and minus two. Uh, six up saves. <laughs> you guy didn't kill him. Ha <laughs> <laughs> So what's your leadership normally? Uh, eight. Eight, so, so down to six. six. I lost three models. Ha, you failed. And this guy flees and I don't roll any farther because Dark Angels. your Dark Angels, Grim Resolve, whatever. Yeah. Well, I secured my objective. I don't get any experience at for because of Ripper Swarms. And oh, you got morale in them, but they're eight. So you're fine with having lost yeah. two. Um, so did a bit more damage. I <laughs> lost my warriors. It's your turn. I'm going to get a command point and then I'm going to do Litany of Hatred. Real aura of real hits, and then we'll do plus one to wound on the assault intercessors. For, it's for melee only, and we got that as well. We're gonna send them in. You and mean the regular intercessors? Yeah, that's right, that's what I meant to say. You can just shoot everything to death now. Yeah. We're just gonna walk into close combat. Help out your buddies? Yeah. 
Uh, they are going to move just to get in range because of the lower range. Yeah, you'll oh. have scenario win in this too because you can just kill me now and then uh, recon sleep. This guy, I think, is going to move over to yeah, and move over to here and recon this. Oh, recon's going to no, start. No, you can't recon until it's the beginning of the movement phase. Which one am I on? Am I on four? Yeah, maybe you can't then. You can only recon one more thing, which will get you 15 points. So he'll go here, and then they can't help at all. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, okay. You could just run on all the objectives and get 15 points. Actually, I'm going to advance him because you might be able to get to that one. Yeah, and then you do that, and then you win the scenario. Four. Trust me, it was the four amongst that. Yeah, not going to be a problem at all. Yeah. And then, I guess they're going to have to advance as well. Minus two, so it's a four inch advance. So that's plenty for you to grab that objective, basically. There you go, you took the table. I thought you weren't going to care about the objective. I wasn't, but then you died, you just crumbled. <laughs> oh, sorry, Brackel is. Uh, Whatever, just shoot. You know, he's coming around shoot. to handle the aura. Just shoot. He doesn't need it. Hatred only helps in close combat. I know, but we gotta, we gotta fight them. Yeah, I suppose. Okay, All right, shoot me with your auto cannons. Auto cannons first. Uh, we're up to two command points. We're gonna count as if we didn't move. Sure, why not? It's down to zero. So hit on twos. So the sergeant hits on twos. And he wounds on, he strikes seven? Yeah, so threes do it. This is gonna be so that knocks one of them down to one wound. And the other one's on twos, because they didn't move, because they used to them. And also threes? Oh, goodness. Are these only minus one, though? These are minus two, two yeah. damage. So that'll finish off the one and bring the other one down to two wounds. They can explode, but it only hurts the nearest enemy unit, so it, it doesn't matter. It's only three inches. So this is Brachial, my chaplain, and my three intercessors in the same squad. They're all hitting on threes. And tough is four. Four? Fours. So these are four minus one. So five up saves. Yeah, cover, right? Oh, yeah, four up saves. Oh, look at that. One more wound. One guy has. I still have a guy with one wound. Hill pistol. Finish off the one guy. Two Plus wound. AP. Two. Six up save. Ah, oh, he dies. Want to charge with your intercessors? Yeah, I might as well send them in. You made it. And then, like then they fight. First. Power short first on threes. Rerolling everything because of the chaplain. And. Strength five, so winning on threes, threes. but twos because uh, they got plus one to wound on them. AP? Uh, four, two damage each. That kills one of them. Okay. Then your chain swords on threes. Oh, re rolling. And threes. threes. They get the plus one to wound, right? Yeah. And these are minus, minus one? Minus two. Well, unless they roll two sixes, he's dead. He's dead. Well, that's a kill tally for them. Mm hmm. Do I get a battle scar? No. The Pyro Boards are leadership five. They lost a buddy. They do not run. Oh, 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 oh. oh you got lookout sir on Brachial. Yeah, yeah. No. I'll, get, I'll get my boy. Oh. Well, I get one more turn. I get five victory points. Mm -hmm. All right, so the math is simple. No matter what, Steve is about to win. Kill. So we're going to go for boom shakalaka. Uh, let's fire at them. Three, six auto hits, 11. But there's actually only two of them. So I'm going to D3 which one goes away. Oh, all right, seven hits. This Threes to wound. Four wounds at minus one. Four up, save. Ooh, oh, I kill another one. And this guy will be down to half. And then I will charge. Minus two. That's a, a six inch charge, you make it. I'm gonna charge. Well, he's not a character, so you can't turn clean intervene, so it doesn't really matter. And then I'll fight. Do it. So Pyrovore, Acid Ma, four attacks between the two of them, fours to hit. And these are strength five minus three AP. Not bad, right? One damage. Three is to wound. So one wound at minus three. Could kill a guy. Six. Oh, we're dead. Yeah, finishes off the one. Now strike me back with your power sword and feel the fury of my yeah. acid blood. Okay, so he's hitting on twos, re-rolling. Because of hatred. And he's strength five. Four. So three is to wound. Uh, oh, two's to wound? Two's to wound because the thing still works. AP? Uh, it's about minus four, two damage each. Ooh, nice. I just nice. killed both of them. Uh, yes. So, two things happen. First off, I get to roll a die for every wound loss. Yep. It's five of them. On sixes, I do mortal wounds. I want one of these to be a six. Two would be great, but one is good. No! And then when each of them dies on a four plus, you take a mortal wound. No! Oh, come on! <laughs> I was gonna finish him off. <laughs> that would be their kill, too. Oh, I was whatever. Re Reconnoiter and pass my turn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, no battle scar, and you win. Does anybody want to get the kill tally for their- I don't care. Okay, so we're done. Inconsequential. So you win the scenario, which means you get two MVPs. Uh, I still got my advancement for my tier and thing, so I'm up to 11. And then, but we've already rolled for the next game. We'll be playing in the Pariah Nexus, because we, we rolled a nine, which was just enough to get in there. But let's take a look at our upgrades. 
My Broodlord and Gene Steelers both upgraded. My Gene Steelers, I rolled randomly and got Fleet of Foot, plus one move. You don't have to roll randomly, you can choose. Which gives them plus one move, advance, and charge, which is awesome. That's basically plus three of their movement to get to close combat, because they can advance and charge. Um, and then on top of that, you throw in Kraken Strategy to double their advance, and they're going where they want to go. There ain't nothing you can do about that. Nobody. The Broodlord, I gave him a conversion field. He found it on the he found it on one of the dead bodies of the Space Marines. They were going to take it back to their captain, but uh, never quite got there. And he decided to flick it on with his uh, little claw and then stick it in his thorax. And that gives him a 4-up invuln. So he'll have a 4-up instead of a 5-up. And on top of that, if he rolls a 6 to save, then it does mortal wound, a mortal wound back to the person who was trying to hurt him. Uh, I think that's only in close combat, though. I got lots of upgrades, mostly because of the MVPs. So more, um, more, more uh, command points for me next game. I know, I, yeah, I know. <laughs> so the biker, the blagar veterans, and the suppressor are all going to take veterans. They finally have enough fight like everybody else. Reroll ones to hit. And then the um, intercessor there, he's going to take a dark angel one. While while the unit is within three of an objective, they ignore damage on a five plus. Ooh. Hopefully, there's objectives in the next game. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> How many crusade points is your army worth? Nineteen. And mine is worth eight now. So in our next game, which is in the vault. I'll get an extra six command points. I'll start with 12, you'll start with six. Yeah. Because we'll be playing a Necron Pari Nexus, so neither of us get any bonuses there. Who knows what crazy debuff we're going to get. <laughs> it's going to be minus one invulns, I know it, because now my bird lord will be like, oh, come on! Oh, come oh, on! Oh, that would be fantastic, actually. Although it, it would suck for your Blade Guard veterans. Oh, it would be terrible, Five actually. up invulns on them. Yeah, yeah. so it's, I think it sucks more for you. It's going to be minus one one thing we both don't care about. I hope so. <laughs> Let's find out. You can watch that game in the mini Wargaming Vault. Thanks so much for watching. Happy Wargaming.